Welcome to the October edition of Free PC VR Games. 15 new free games this month, and quite a variety in many different genres. Let's go. Or maybe you want something more cosmic and abstract. The decision is yours. Place your choice in the fire. Cartoon Network Journeys VR is a narrative set of three unique mini-adventures. In one, you help a bee colony. Don't even think about entering the construction area. It's dangerous. In the second one, you're auditioning to become a jester in the king's court. This one is my personal favorite. Ah. <laughs> is that jester a wizard? And the third one has you replacing a powerful deity at their job. Look at this fool. He could have been a great dimension wizard, but his soul is trapped by things he possessed on the lower dink plane. The only mode of movement is teleporting, so everyone is able to play. All the mini-adventures are well-written and designed. Only unique individuals may pass. We're unique, right? Each individual journey could be a great free game on their own, but the fact that all three come in one bundle makes it even better. I got an hour total of playtime out of this, and it's well worth the download. So you think you can jest? Well, let's step things up and see who's still laughing. <laughs> it's time to turn those mosquito bites you call biceps into some snow-capped peaks! Look up there, right beyond the horizon. Look familiar? That's you! Sometimes, a game will come along that's difficult to categorize, or even difficult to describe. And Beach Body Bros is one of those experiences where you just have to try it out yourself. It's very short, it lasts about four minutes. But I promise you, it's unlike anything you've ever played before. Looking good, bro. I like the way you pump. After H is a straightforward multiplayer first-person shooter. Shoot to kill other people while trying to avoid being killed by them. The default movement is sliding, but there is comfort vignette option to reduce motion sickness. You can choose a custom weapon loadout for each match. I find it to be a decent shooter, and for a free game, I'm surprised at how many negative reviews it has on Steam. Give this a try, and let me know what you think. Chambered was once a paid game, but has recently become free. You're stuck inside a chamber where you need to complete a bunch of combat training missions against bots. The team deathmatch modes face you off against other gunmen, while the standoff missions have you holding off your location against a ton of polygon men. When you begin each mission, you choose your loadout and hit the red button when you're ready. As you make more kills, you can acquire upgrades for your weapons, like new scopes. Outside the training chamber in the real world, bad guys have infiltrated, but your trainer remains in radio contact with you. Recruit, can you hear me? I'm safe for now. I managed to pass through to you from the south of the end. The ship has been taken. I know this sounds crazy, but keep training. It's the only way you're going to get out of that chamber. So that's kind of a cool story element beyond the simple training missions. For locomotion, there's sliding and arm swinging, and there's three difficulty modes to choose from. So you're sure to face a challenge if you find normal difficulty too easy. If you feel like shooting some bots, then check it out. In Deus Ex Machina, you are a robot trying to infiltrate a top secret facility. To do that, you'll need to solve puzzles of all kinds to unlock doors and gain entry to where you want to go. There's only sliding movement, but there's a visual comfort vignette whenever you move in case you get motion sick. It did seem a little buggy at times, like here when my robot arm didn't connect with the dials, and the performance stuttered sometimes, but if you're in the mood for some random puzzles, then give it a spin. Perspectives Paradise is an educational documentary of sorts that lets you experience Ivy Mike, which was the world's first hydrogen bomb. To feel like you're actually near a nuclear blast with everything burning all around you is pretty disturbing, but it's also a good education on the reality of it. 
After you experience it firsthand, you get to learn some facts about the bomb test site and also learn about how it's affected the lives of people living on those islands. And there were times where all the equipment, we dumped it in the lagoon because we couldn't take it back stateside. The entire experience is sobering, but also important to know. The pinnacle of VR gaming has arrived with Throw the Ball in the Hole. And with a game name like that, you don't need me to describe the gameplay for you. But I will say that it's pretty punishing in the way that you're granted a limited set of balls, and if you run out, then you go back to the previous level. Because of that, I found this extremely difficult. Give this a shot for some simple but very challenging gameplay. Necessary pin already. Pull trigger to install the anchor pin and secure the tibial array to the anterior tibial cortex. Wraith VR Total Knee Replacement Surgery Simulation lets you perform knee surgery on somebody. You're guided step by step on how to give this poor soul a better knee. For a guided surgery experience, it's pretty good. Pin and secure the tibial array to the anterior tibia. Now select the femoral target array already mounted. Place along the medial aspect of the distal feet. Two anchor pins are required to anchor the fixation base. Grab the pin drive. Turn Me On is an obstacle course hoverbike racing game set within a neon Tron-like visual style. There's only four levels in total. I found the controls really touchy, and honestly, I didn't find it all that enjoyable. But it's possible that somebody else might enjoy it. Up until now, all of the VR museum experiences I've ever seen are either short demos or just small samplers. But now, with Versailles VR The Palace is Yours, you get to explore the entirety of the Palace of Versailles. There's a ton of fascinating art and architecture to see in here. It's all reconstructed from photogrammetry, so the artwork feels authentic. The default quality setting is low, so be sure to turn that up. In every room, there are multiple items that you can highlight to get the details on. Even the artwork on the ceiling can be highlighted. Within this view, you get a detailed description on your left hand about the piece. You can turn on the audio guide, which will narrate what each room is for, but they don't narrate each individual piece. The bedchamber is the most important room in the Queen's State Apartments, and was where the Sovereign spent most of her time. There's a night mode that will change the ambience and make the fireplaces light up. And you can enable 3D chandeliers for a little more immersion. I'm so happy to finally see a full and complete museum in VR. I highly recommend it. The Coronation Chamber owes its name to the emblematic monumental painting of the Coronation of Napoleon. Project Cars 2 Demo this demo has actually been out for quite a while, but it's just recently been on my radar. It's obviously a demo version of the full game, but this demo allows three preset racing modes. A Lamborghini race, a Formula One race, and a Ferrari race. Even though the races themselves aren't customizable, in the demo there are plenty of other options you can change. Like toggling off the HUD display, and much more. And there are plenty of different camera angles to choose from as well. Everything looks and feels great. It's a well-made, polished racing game. For a limited, but high-quality racing demo, it's a good choice. You may recall that I've previously covered Elemental Elixirs before, and during my previous coverage, my biggest wish was for the game to have sound. And thankfully, there's been a sound update to the game with both music and sound effects. So this game is now a solid recommendation for me. It's a fun and charming potion merchant game with great interactions. It's totally worth a free download. Spy Escape is a short but solid escape room game. Just be sure to avoid the guards seeing you when you hear them walking down the hallway. I beat it in about 15 minutes, and it's a decent short game.
Ancient Dungeon VR Alpha is a Minecraft-esque dungeon crawler. Obviously, by the name, it's an early alpha state, but there's already lots of cool things about it. There's a variety of weaponry, obstacle course climbing, merchants, multiple enemies, and especially the physics and interactions are really well done. Everything collides really nicely. The default movement is sliding, but there is comfort vignette option to reduce motion sickness. It's a great little alpha demo, and I hope this continues development because it's off to a fantastic start. In Revenge, evil crash test dummies want to kill you, as you would expect. But thankfully, you're given about 10 seconds per level to change the scenario so they end up killing each other. At the beginning, their weapon of choice is guns, so it's relatively simple to make sure they shoot each other. But later on, things get a lot more elaborate and wacky. This game is a real hoot, it's a must play. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.